Jai Jai Shri Chaitanya Jai Nityananda Jai Jai Shri Chaitanya Jai Nityananda Jai Advaita Chandra Jai Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Jai Advaita Chandra Jai Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Nama Om Vishnu Vidaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Shivati Bhakti Vedanta Swamaniti Namane Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Pracharne Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschitya Dejatarne Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadha Sri Vasudhi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Vanchakapta Rupi Astyai Kripa Sindhu Vya Evacha Padidana Bhavane Vya Vaishnava Vya Namo Namaha Vaishnava Vya Namo Namaha So I am very happy to be with you again today. It is just a priceless gift for me to get the association of such nice devotees. And I just really felt the class this morning was just really wonderful. What did you think? Okay, okay, anyway, I thought it was really nice. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. And yeah, what an important point how we not only must we get the right information. But we have to get it from the right sources. Because there's a famous verse quoted by one of the six Goswamis. It's such a famous verse, I've partially forgotten it. Just hang on a sec, let's see if I can find it. But it's about, uh, oh look here it is, what? Yeah, it's in the, okay. Anyway, it is, let's see, Sanatana Goswami has quoted this verse from Padma Purana. Sanatana Goswami is Padma Padma Purana. A Vaishnava Mukod Gernam Putam Hari Katam Ritam Shravanam Naiva Kartavyam Sarpachishtam Yatapaya One should not hear anything about Krishna from a non Vaishnava. Milk touched by the lips of a serpent has poisonous effects. Similarly, talks about Krishna given by a non Vaishnav are also poisonous. Oh, oh, oh. Sarpa Uchishta. Sarpa means snake. Sarpa uchishta, sarpa reshki givate. And uchishta means remnants. O uchishta yra likuchi. Yes, something which has been partially eaten by a snake. Tai yra tai, ką iš dalies suvalgė givate. Anyway, how did I get on to that? But, uh, but it was a really nice class. Tai buvo labai puikiai paskaitai ryta. So let us begin here then. Well, Rupa Goswami, what better source could there be? There's just a few points we have to, uh, nice points, important points that we want to, to go through to sort of finish 
the discussion about Rupa Goswami. Yra keletas tokių labai puikių momentų, kurios mes turėtume aptarti, baigiant pasakojimą apie Rupa Goswami. First of all, let us recite that verse, which we recited yesterday also, from the Shad Goswami Astakam. Pirmiausiai, mes padeklamuosim tą patį posmą, kurį deklamavom vakar iš Shad Goswami Aštukos. You can repeat after me. Galite kartuoti paskui mane. Nana Shastra Vichara Naika Nipano Sadharma Samsta Pako Nana Shastra Vichara Naika Nipano Sadharma Samsta Pako Loka Namita Karino Tribhuvane Man yo sharanya karo Loka nam hitakari no tribuvane Man yo sharanya karo Radha Krishna padara vinda bhajana Nande namata liko Radha Krishna Padara Vinda Bhajana Nante Namata Liko Vande Rupa Sanata Nora Guyago Shri Jiva Gopalako Vande Rupa Sanata Nora Guyago Shri Jiva Gopalako Vande Rupa Sanatana Raguyago Shri Jiva Gopalako Vande Rupa Sanatana Raguyago Shri Jiva Gopalako I offer my respectful obeisances unto the six Goswamis. Namely, Sri Sanatana Goswami, Sri Rupa Goswami, Sri Raghunath Bhatta Goswami, Sri Raghunath Das Goswami, Sri Jiva Goswami, and Sri Gopal Bhatta Goswami. Būtent Sri Sanatana Goswami, Sri Rupa Goswami, Sri Raghunath Bhatta Goswami, Sri Raghunath Das Goswami, Sri Jiva Goswami, and Sri Gopal Bhatta Goswami. Who are very expert in scrutinizingly studying all the revealed scriptures. Kurie labai patyrė studijuodami visus apreikštuosius šventraščius. With the aim of establishing eternal religious principles for the benefit of all human beings. Thus they are honored all over the three worlds. And they are worth taking shelter of. Because they are absorbed in the mood of the gopis and are engaged in the transcendental loving service of Radha and Krishna. And uh, the other verse we also chanted yesterday from our Mangala Charana. You can repeat after me too. Shri Chaitanya Mano Bishtam Shri Chaitanya Mano Bishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamahyam Swayam Rupa Kadamahyam Dadati Swapadantikam Dadati Swapadantikam When will Srila Rupa Goswami Prabhupada who has established within this material world the mission to fulfill the desire of Lord Chaitanya. When will he give me shelter under his lotus feet? So, yeah. So, Prabhupada makes the point that if one 
has really got the the mercy of Rupa Goswami. Ir Šrila Prabhupada pažymė, kad jeigu žmogus gavo Šrilas Rūpas Gosvami malonę, then one will be able to do something constructive to, to help establish the mission of Lord Chaitanya in this world. Toks žmogus, jisai galės padaryti kažką kaip konstruktyvaus, kad padėtų Rūpai Gosvami įtvirtinti vieš patie Šaitanijos misiją šitame pasaulyje. And of course, Šrila Prabhupada was by far, by far the main one who did that. So Srila Prabhupada, when, uh, when he was residing in Vrindavan, he lived uh, in, in some rooms at the Radha Damada temple. This is where Srila Rupa Goswami lived when he was in Vrindavan town itself. He, he would move around a little bit here and there around Vraj Mandala. Uh, particularly in the early part of his stay in Vraj Mandala. Not as much as Sanatana Goswami. Sanatana Goswami was practically on the move every day. Anyway, we'll read a little excerpt about that shortly. But Prabhupada stayed there uh, for some years. More or less immediately before coming to the West. And there is the Bhajan Kutia and Samadhi of Srila Rupa Goswami. And Prabhupada said that every day he would pray there to Srila Rupa Goswami. And Prabhupada said that there was at least one occasion, perhaps more, when Srila Rupa Goswami appeared to him. And, and gave Prabhupada his blessings to spread his message all over the world. So like this, you know, we have a we have a connection with all the Goswamis. But particularly we have a connection with Srila Rupa Goswami. And yeah. And therefore we are known at least one term which is applied sometimes to us is that we are Rupanugas. Rupanuga. Rupanuga. Anuga means follower. So Rupanuga, followers of Rupa Goswami. And uh, we're also, of course, we're Prabhupada Anuga. Yeah, like that. So, so we mentioned, uh, let's see, we mentioned yesterday a little bit about how Sanatan Goswami his books were more in the mood of Sambanda. Sambanda meaning um, just like early stages, establishing a connection, making a connection with Krishna. Sambanda reiškia pradinę stadijos užmesgant savo ryšį su Krishna. And uh, you can see that if you read the books of Sanatana Goswami. Um, the main book he wrote, really, 
was Brihad Bhagavatamrita. Pagrindinė knyga, kurią jis parašė, buvo Brihad Bhagavatamrita. It is available in English. Jinai prieinama anglų kalba. It's partially available in Russian. <laughs> ir iš dalies pasiekiama taip pat yra rusų kalba. Actually, it's completely available in Russian, but printed is only one, about, I think, one third. Ir galima, aišku, jie surasti visą rusų kalbą, bet išspausėti yra tik tai treč, treč dalis. And Lithuanian language. O lietuvių kalba. Any no. BBT devotees here? <laughs> Just now coming. <laughs> jau, jau, jau tuoj tuoj rišėjti. Don't, don't hold your breath. <laughs> Nesulaikykit savo kvėpavimą. <laughs> But it's sort of on the way or Pakeliui. Pakeliui. A good idea to learn English. Such an easy language. Even an idiot can speak it. <laughs> But Lithuanian, she it's too difficult for me. Russian is bad enough. Rusų kalba pakankamai blogai. Anyway, Mr. Ryan, sir. But, yeah, Brihad Bhagavatam Rita, you should just really read. Bet Brihad Bhagavatam Rita tikrai turite perskaityti. Just what? Well, two stories, two amazing stories. Dvi istorijos, bet tokios dvi nuostabios istorijos. Okay, now is not the time to get into that, though. Bet dabar mes nesigirinsim. But, um, Srila Rupa Goswami, uh, his writings are the great majority at least are not so much in that mood of the initial connection, what is the relationship. Ir didžioji daugumas Rupas Goswami knygų nėra labai stipriai susijusia su tuo pradiniu santykiu su Krišnu. But, but how, what to do to realize the relationship. Bet apie tai, ką daryti, kaip šitą santykį įgyvendinti. How, how to enter into the relationship. Kaip pasiekti tuos santykius. Therefore, Prabhupada, one of the first books Prabhupada translated was Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. Ir todėl viena iš pirmųjų knygų, kurias išvertė šį dėlą Prabhupada, buvo Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. Then, uh, of course, there's Nectar of Instruction. Ir tada žinoma Pamokymų Nektaras. And a couple of, there's a number of amazing books. Ujvala Nilamani is going into detail about the relationships between Krishna and the gopis. If you thought the later chapters of Nectar of Devotion were a bit sort of elevated and esoteric. Ir jeigu jūs manėte, kad paskutiniai atsidavimo nektaro skiriai yra tokie labai ezoteriškai ir išaukštinti, wait till you read Ujvala Nilamani. Tai palaukit, kol paskaitysit Ujvala Nilamani. But, but read all of Prabhupada's books first. Bet pirmio perskaitykit visas Prabhupada's knygas. A few times. Kelis kartus. Yeah. Three, four, that's good. Tris, keturis kartus. Not bad. Neblogai. Then he wrote, we mentioned yesterday actually, Vidagda Madhava and Lalita Madhava. Um, I don't want, well, Lalita Madhava, it's a drama. Lalita Madhava is a drama. Krishna in Dwaraka. Krishna Dwaraka. And it is just truly an amazing literature. After you've read all of Prabhupada's books three or preferably four times, try Lalita Madhava. That's amazing. How, when Krishna went to Dwarika, how He married 16,108 queens who were expansions of the gopis. 
But Srila Rupa Goswami explained they were not just expansions. They were actually the gopis oh, in person. Yes. After Krishna left Vrindavan, uh, anyway, it's a long story, I don't want to bewilder you too much. Yeah, but they were all sent home. And like, what now, Chandravali was sent home, she was the daughter of Bhishmaka. And she went back home and she became known as Rukmini. And then Krishna married Rukmini. But actually it was Chandravali in, in person. And yeah, others also like that, like um, Lalita, became Jambavati who was the daughter of Jambavan who's like a sort of like like a transcendental beer Lokis, Medved yeah. but she was this beautiful young girl and all day she would just play with a group of dolls. Uh, one male doll and a few female dolls. And the male doll was very dark skinned. Hint, hint, anyway. <laughs> and the main female doll was very golden skin. And all she did all day was marry them in different ways. Yeah. Okay, anyway, just after you've read Prabhupada's books, you know. All right, all right. And actually, we mentioned yesterday how Rupa Goswami and Sanatan, before they met Lord Chaitanya, they were already great devotees. We described what they did in Ramakali. And there actually Rupa Goswami, he wrote uh, one of his main books. It's called Hansa Dutta. And it's the story of Lalita uh, requesting a Hansa, a swan, to take a message to Krishna who has gone to Mathura. Very beautiful book. And she tells the swan, after you've given Krishna all the news, ask a question of him. Ask him, do you still remember those two unfortunate syllables, Radha? Oh, then he also wrote Uddhava Sandesh. That's also another amazing book. Um, it is Krishna instructing Uddhava what to say to the gopis 
when he goes to visit them and give them messages on Krishna's behalf. Šitoje knygoje Krišnas jai moko udavo, ką jis taip turėtų pasakyti gopiams, kai nuvyks į Vrindavanu perduoti joms žinutės nuo Krišnas. He also wrote a collection of poems, Stava Mala. Rūpa Gasame taip pat parašė dainų kolekciją, vadinamą Stava Malo. And, uh, and various other literatures. Ir taip pat kitas knygas. Ok, so let's see now. Yeah, so Abhideya, generally about the actual practice, what to do in order to become Krishna conscious. Taigi, Abhideya, tai yra tai, ką reikia daryti tam, kad galėtume pasiekti Krishna samonę. Because as they say that Prabhupada said, nes kaip jie sako, kad Prabhupada pasakė, that Prabhupada asked the question, what is Krishna consciousness? Prabhupada uždavė klausimą, kas yra Krishna samonė? And Prabhupada answered his question. Ir Prabhupada atsakė į savo klausimą. Prabhupada said, Krishna consciousness means to develop a personal relationship with Krishna. Ir Prabhupada atsakė, kad Krishna samonė tai yra išsiaugdyti savo asmeninį santykį su Krishna. Well, yeah, we should express it. Krishna consciousness means the development of a personal relationship with Krishna. Turėtum pasakyti, kad Krishna samonė reiškia išsiaugdyti savo asmeninį santykį su Krishna. Disguised as a process. Ir šitas procesas, tai yra visa, tai yra uh, užmaskuota kaip procesas. What is a maskirovan? Užmaskirovan, užmaskuotas. So anyway, yeah. It looks like a process. Tai atrodo kaip procesas. You must do this and not do that. Tai daryti tai, negali daryti ano. Get up early in the morning. Kaitis anksti ryte. Follow the principle. Veikytis ir principų. Chant your round. Kartoti savo ratus. Read the book. Skaityti knygas. It's a process. Tai yra procesas. But it's it's not just a process. Bet tai nėra tiesiog procesas. We're actually developing a personal relationship. Mes iš tikrųjų būdami savo asmeninį santykį su Krišnu. And in due course Krišna will walk up to us face to face. Just like he did with Lord Brahma in Srimad Bhagavatam. There was, there was Brahma and you know he doesn't exactly know what's going on. But he's been chanting prayers and doing you know austerities and He is waiting for something. And then Krishna walked up to him. And shook his hand. And congratulated him. Congratulations. You, you've perfected your life. So, yes. It will happen. It will happen to all of you. Just got to keep chanting, keep serving. Try your best. And Krishna is very merciful. Prabhupada is very merciful. And one day you will wake up. And you will not be in Vilnius. Or Kaunas. Or, you know, what Paisles, what to make call it? <laughs> You'll be in Goloka Vrindavan. Because Prabhupada said we will have Iskon in Goloka Vrindavan. Yes, and we will all be together. So we must learn how to get on with each other. We will have Iskon Lietuva in Galaga Vrindavan. National Council too. National Council, yes. <laughs> <laughs> And the GBC. GBC. Happy ball. Wow. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's see then. 
So here I want to just read, it's just, a, well I don't know, take five minutes. It's a description of uh, Rupert Sanatan living in Vrajamandala. Let's see, it is from Chaitanya Charitamrita. Majalila chapter 19. If someone returned to his country after seeing Vrindavan, the associates of the Lord would ask him questions. How are Rupert and Sanatan doing in Vrindavan? What are their activities in the renounced order? How do they manage to eat? How, how are Rupert and Sanatan engaged in devotional service 24 hours daily. So the people would ask these questions. And the devotee who has just returned would answer. They actually have no fixed residence. They reside beneath trees. One night under one tree and the next night under another. And you might think, oh, living under trees in Vrindavan is not a problem. It's, it's so hot. But in the winter in Vrindavan it gets cold. Sometimes it becomes minus. It would snow, but, but it is too dry. And they would just live under the tree. Uh, they beg a little food from the houses of Brahman. Giving up all kinds of material enjoyment, they take only some dry bread and fried chickpeas. They carry only water pots and they wear torn quilts. They always chant the holy names of Krishna and discuss his pastime. They engage almost 24 hours daily in rendering service to the Lord. They usually sleep only an hour, an hour and a half. And someday, some days when they continuously chant the Lord's holy name, they do not sleep at all. And when the associates of Lord Chaitanya would hear of these activities from the devotee who returned, they would say, what is wonderful for a person who has been granted the Lord's mercy? So Rupa, Rupa Goswami, he, uh, he moved around to some degree. But mainly in Vrindavan town. And if not there, then near Tirkadamba. I mean, sorry near Nandagram in at Tirkadamba. It's, it's a very beautiful place, wonderful place, it's still there. This is where if you go, if you go to, uh, next time you go, next time you go to Vrindavan. Vrindavan Dham Ki. Go to Tirkadamba. And you must know this is where 
Srila Rupa Goswami wrote um, Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. So at Tirkadamba there's a nice kun. He would sit by the kund. And uh, there are trees, flowering trees around the kund. When Rupa Goswami would write something about Radha and Krishna becoming separated, he himself would go into a deep mood of separation. But then, after a little while, he would write about them meeting again. So when he would write about them separating, the trees would drop their flowers. Just a whole shower of flowers. But when he wrote of them meeting again, the, the flowers would all bloom and blossom again. One day at Tirkadamba with a group of devotees, Rupa Goswami was discussing Radha and Krishna's pastimes in separation. As he did that, all the Vaishnavas cried and fell to the ground unconscious. The heart of Rupa Goswami was burning like a great fire. But he didn't tell anyone. But at one point he turned to one of the devotees and sighed and exhaled onto the shoulder of the devotee. The devotee's shoulder uh, was burned by the heat of his breath and blisters formed on his shoulder. Seeing this, everyone became astonished. Such are the activities of Srila Rupa Goswami. There is, let's say, here's a famous story of Rupa Goswami at Tirkadamba. If you know the area a little bit, you would know that about maybe two to three kilometers away or something is Pavan Sarova. And there, just next to Pavan Sarova, is the Bhajan, a Bhajan Kutia of Sanatan Goswami. And Sanatan, like we said, he was moving around a lot. But sometimes he would stop for a few days. And therefore there are bhajan kutias of Sanatan Goswami more than any of the other of the six Goswamis. There's that one, there's that one at Pavan Sarova means Nandagram. There's one in Gokula. There's one in where is there one? Anyway, there's a number of them around here and there. Around Oh Manasi Ganga. Yeah, and there's a couple of others. Anyway, so now Rupa Goswami was at his place at Tirkadamba. It was Sanatan Goswami's birthday. And Srila Rupa Goswami felt, 
I would like to express my appreciation and affection for my dear, dear older brother. Aš norėčiau, Rūpa Gasvami galvoja, aš norėčiau kažkaip tai parodyti savo tą prielankumą, savo draugiškumą, savo širdingumą, savo broliui, sanatonai. Who, who was also his siksha guru. Kuris taip pat buvo ir jo siksha guru. So he thought, I would like to cook something for him. Jis pagalvoja, aš norėčiau jam kažką tai pagaminti. What shall I cook? Ką galėčiau jam pagaminti? Kartofel, padera venskai. Kainiškas gulėvės. What shall I cook? What Ką turėčiau jam pagaminti? Maybe some chapati. Galbūt čepačių. Now you've probably heard this. Don't mind me mentioning this. Jūs turbūt esat girdėję tai. Yeah, I don't want to... Ja nechadžiu askablėt. I don't want to offend anyone. Nenori nieko įžeisti. But you're familiar with pizza. Bet jūs žinot apie pizza. Smile. Yes. <laughs> you're familiar. Taigi, jūs žinot pizza. Some devotees refuse pizza. Na, kai kurie baktai atsisako valgyti pizza. Because they say it is not Vedic. Nes jie sako, kad čia ne vedinis patiekalas. Yeah. Like at the Jagannath Puri temple in India. Taip ir Jagannatho šventyklai Indijoje. They do not use, they do not use kartoška. Jie nenaudoja taip pat ir bulvio. Because it was introduced from Europe. Nes šitą bulvę buvo atvežta iš Europos. They don't use chilis. Ir jie nenaudoja čilių taip pat. Can you imagine an Indian with no chilis? Gal tiesiog vaizduoti Indiją be čilių? It's not possible. Neįmanoma. They don't use ginger. Ir jie nenaudoja imbiero. And various, and cauliflower they don't use. Ir kalafijorų nenaudoja. No tomatoes. Ir pomedoro. Because it's all introduced. Nes visą tai buvo atvežta. So, but anyway, back to pizza. Bet grįžtant prie pizzas. Some very, you know, očiant seriosni pridnė. They won't take pizza. Kai kurie labai, labai rimti baktai, jie nevalgo pizzas. Because they think it's not Vedic. Nes jie galvo, kad tai nevediška. But little do they know. Bet jie labai nedaug žino. It is extremely Vedic. Kad tai labai vediška. You know what pizza is? Ar žinot, kas yra pizza? Listen to this. Pasiklausykit. What do we say? Kaip ten sako? Pristagnitia remni beza pas. Sako, prisisekit savo atveržus. Fasen your seatbelts. Pizza is... Pizza yra? God realized chapati. Chapatis per savo te dievą. It is bona fide. Yra bona fide. Anyway, sorry, sorry. Taigi, tai prašo. Excuse me. So there we were back at Tia Kadamba. Taigi, mes jau grįžtum į Tia Kadamba. And what to do now? Rupa wants to cook something and offer it to his brother. Taigi, ką daryti? Rupa nori kažką pagaminti ir pasiūlyti savo broliui. But he's got nothing to cook. Bet jis neturi nieko ką pagaminti. No supermarkets. Nėra jokio supermarketų. Can you believe it? There was life before supermarkets. Ar galite įsivaizduoti, tai buvo gyvenimas iki supermarketų? Seriously. Rimtai. Before iki. Prieš iki. Right, right. So he had nothing. Taigi, jis nieko neturėjo. He just had the desire. Jis tiesiog turėjo norą. Suddenly, from the forest emerged one young girl. Išmiško pasirodo viena jauna mergaitė. Very beautiful young girl. Labai gražė, maža mergaitė. And she was carrying a few different pots stacked up on top of each other. Ir jinai neša su savim daug puodų, sudėtų vienas ant kito. And she just walked up to Rupa Goswami. Ji prieina prie Rupas Goswami. And just bang, just bang put them in his hands. And he looked at them. It was ingredients for sweet rice. This amazing rice, long grain. I don't know if you've ever seen long grain rice. It's like super exquisite. Jie tokie super iškirtiniai. So this is long grain. 
and this aromatic milk. Ertatoks kvapnos pienas taip pat. It's like it's from the heavenly planet. Atrodo, kad tarsi iš rojinio planeto. And sugar, which is also just richly fragrant. Ir cukras, kas kuris taip pat toks turtingai kvapnos. And the girl said, "Here, just take this." Ir mergate pasai paimkšite. Bang. Ir padavėme. Oh, oh. Oh. Uh, and she said there was a wedding in the village. And this was left over. And my mother instructed me to go out into the forest. Find some babaji. And just give it to him. Yeah. So there you go. You can do what you wish. And he's looking at it. This is just what I was thinking of. And then he wanted to thank her. But he looked up. She had vanished. Anyway, so he started cooking. And he made this sweet rice. It, it was just no, you didn't even have to taste it. It was just smelling it was overwhelming. And he thought, wow, this is just Krishna's mercy. And he took it over to the place, the Bhajan Kutia of Sanatana Goswami. So in he came with this whole pot of, of amazing sweet rice and just handed it over to Sanatana Goswami. There you go, happy birthday. And Sanatana Goswami looked at it and smelt the fragrance. And he asked, where did you get this from? And he took one mouthful. He became stunned. Tell me, where did you get this from? And Rupa Goswami said, well, there was this one young girl. And she just came and gave me all this. She said there was a wedding in the village. This was left over. Yeah. And Sanatana said, I am living here in the village. There was no wedding. That was Srimati Radharani. And Sanatana Goswami said, I have many times tasted the Mahaprasadam of Jagannath. I have tasted the remnants of many sets of Radha Krishna deity. I have tasted the remnants of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself. But I have never tasted anything like this. That was Srimati Radharani. You have engaged Radharani in my service. And he pushed away the sweet rice. I, I cannot accept it. And he started crying. So he cried for a while, just looking down. Then he looked up. And he said to Rupa Goswami, pass me that sweet rice again. So they both took the sweet rice while their tears of ecstasy were dripping into it. Srila Rupa Goswami ki. Jai. Srila Sanatana Goswami ki. Jai. Just one other little pastime that Rupa Goswami is famous 
for worshiping Radha Govinda. Rupa Goswami's labai garsus to, kad jis garbino Radha Govinda. Radha Govinda is still there, there in Jaipur. Radha Govinda dabar yra Jaipurė. I'm sure some of you have been there. Aš tikras, kad jūs kažkas iš jūsų esat ten buvę. If you have not been there, you must go there. Ir jeigu jūs ten dar nebuvot, jūs tikrai turite nuvykti. Ok. Tikrai, gerai. 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 Ačiū. Viskas gerai. Viskas gerai. Ha? Okay, see you there. Pasimatysim ten. And Rupa, yeah, um, uh, Radha Govinda, sure, they're being worshipped in just very wonderful ways. But um, when Rupa Goswami, when the six Goswamis were living in Vrindavan for quite some years, they did not know where is Radha Govinda. Bet kai šeši Vrindavano Goswami gyveno Vrindavane, jie daug metų negalės užinoti, kur yra Radha Govindos dėvybės. Govinda was lost. Govinda buvo pamestas. All those deities were more or less lost in one way or another. Daugumą šitų dėvybių kažkokį vieną ir kitokį būtų buvo prarastos. So, Rupa Goswami, he made up his mind. I will find Govinda ji. Ir Rupa Gosvami kažkaip savo vidui nusistatė, aš turiu surasti Govinda ji. So, he started searching around Vrindavan town. Ir jis pradėjo ieškoti Vrindavano miesto ribose. He searched up the trees, under the trees. Jis išėdavai medžio viršų, nes ir po medžiais. Behind the rocks. Už uolų, už akmenų. He even went house to house. Jis netgi ėjo nuo durų prie durų. And he would just walk in. Jis tiesiog įėjdavo. And just go room to room. Eidavo iš kambarį į kambarį. Do you know where Govinda is? Ar žinot, kur yra Govinda? Nobody knew. Niekas nežinojo. So one day, he was sitting next to the Yamuna, and just, he had searched everywhere. He just didn't know what to do next. And then one young and very beautiful bridge busy boy walked up to him and asked him why, why are you so upset and Rupa Goswami explained his story the boy said you know I know a place it's just here in Vrindavane it's a small hill we call it Gomatila. And every day one cow comes at noon to the top of that hill. And just spontaneously release her milk. Have you seen cows do that? Well, I mean, I've seen them, you know, sort of milk is raining. This is like 20 kilos, 20 liters at one go. And the boy said, I think who you are looking for is in the hill. So, so he took, the, the boy took Rupa to that hill. And as happens in a number of similar stories, he vanished. He just suddenly was not there. So, so, let's see what happened. Rupa Goswami gathered some people and they dug the top of the hill. And sure enough, there they found Govinda. Down a few meters under the hill. So Rupa Goswami had the, the old Radha Govinda temple built on that spot. Taigi, Rūpa Gasvamis ant tos pačios kalbos pastatė senąją Radha Govinda šventyklą. 
They also found a small deity of yoga maya. Dar ei te pot să rămâjite yoga mayas de vibă. Which an old 5000 year old deity. Care era la baie sana 5000 de metru să numai de vibă. Which is also there in that old Govinda temple. Dar ei te pot era toia sana ia Govinda șanticle. So that temple it was actually Rupa Goswami supervised the construction. But mainly it was actually built um, by Raghunath Bhatta Goswami. And then Rupa Goswami personally worshipped Govinda there for some years. Uh, another time He was walking around the area. Ir kita karta Rupa Goswami vaikštinėja ten po apskritį. Just near the Govinda temple. Netoli Govinda šventyklos. It's I don't know 500 meters maybe. Galbūt už 500 metrų nuo šventyklos. Bra- Brahma Kund. Ten yra Brahma Kunda. One day he was there. Vienas dienas ten buvo. And a, another another one of these very beautiful young girls just appear. And and spoke to Rupa Goswami. And said, you know, I am buried over there on the side of the Kund. What do you mean you're buried you're standing there talking to me? Kad tu meni sakydama kad už kasta, tu stovi prieš mane ir šneke. Now just go and dig over there. Ne, nu eikte nai diškas. So Rupa dug over there. Ir Rupa gasam pradėti ant kasti. And found the original Vrinda Devi deity. Ir tam surado originalia Vrinda Devi deity. She is now in Kamyavan. Dabar jinai yra Kamyavane. Big what ten armed deity of Vrinda Devi. Tai labai didelė dešimt rankė Vrinda Devi dėvybė. She's still there. Ir jinai tebe stovi tam. Srila Rupa Goswami ke. Jai. Srila Rupa Goswami ke. Jai. Srila Rupa Goswami ke. Jai. You know what we're going to do now, devotees? Ir žino dabar bakti, ką mes dabar darysim? We're going to continue. Mes tesime. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you awake? Are you nemiegat? Are you alive? Give it. Okay. Let us see we've got only today and tomorrow. Tai mums lieka šiandieną ir rytojus. Hope you'll be here tomorrow. Aš tikiuosi, kad jūs ir rytoj būsit. Cuz we got to discuss. Sure. Jeeva Goswami, Raghunath Das Goswami. Nes mes kalbėsim apie Jeeva Goswami ir Raghunath Das Goswami. Raghunath Bhatta Goswami. Bhatta Goswami. Gopal Bhatta Goswami. Gopal Bhatta Goswami. Otherwise we have to wait for the summer festival. Kita kadia mums reikės laukti vasaros festivalio. So let's move on a bit. We'll discuss now about Srila Jeeva Goswami. Tai dabar pakalbėsim truputį apie Srila Jeeva Goswami. So we already discussed about Sanatana and Rupa. Mes jau kalbėjom apie Sanatana ir apie Rupa. Rupa is Rupa Manjari. Rupa yra Rupa Manjari. Sanatana is who is Sanatana? Sanatana kas yra? Rati Manjari. Rati Manjari. Who is Jiva Goswami? Kas yra Jiva Goswamis? Vilas Manjari. Vilas Manjari. And what deity did uh, Jiva worship? Ir kokia dėvybė garbina Jiva? Damodar. Radha Damodar. Actually the original Radha Damodar is in uh, Jaipur. Iš tikrųjų pirminis Radha Damodar yra Jaipurė. Small deity. Mažyti dėvybė. Something like that. Gal tas didžio. A uh, personally carved by Rupa Goswami. Yes, meniškai padarė Rupa Goswami. And given as a gift to Jiva. Ir padavano kaip dovana Jivai. So Jiva Goswami is the nephew of Rupa and Sanatana. Ir tai Jiva Goswami yra Rupas ir Sanatanos sunienas. He is the son of their younger brother who was named uh, Anupam. Jis yra jų jauniausio brolio Anupamas sunus. 
Well, Anupam is the initiated name given to him by Lord Chaitanya. And they say, they say, Anigavarat, you heard of them, right? They say, you heard of them? The ones who say things? They say, <laughs> but it's not entirely clear that um, Jiva was present at Ramakali when uh, Rupa and Sanatana and Anupam first met Lord Chaitanya. Right. So, maybe. But he was born in Ramakali. So again, I want to read some verses. This is from Bhakti Ratnakara. Um, describing Jiva as a child. Uh, and yeah, as, as a preschool child, his, his total devotion to Radha and Krishna and Krishna and Balaram. So when Sri Jiva was only a boy, he avoided playing with his friends or any activities which had no connection with Krishna. He made deities of Krishna and Balaram. And all day, every day, he worshipped them with flowers and sandalwood paste and dress them with fine clothes and ornaments. When he would bow on the ground before them, he would weep. He offered them various kinds of sweets and then enjoyed distributing the prasad to his friends. He loved the deities of Krishna and Balaram so much that he, he would do nothing but play with them. At bedtime, he would hold them to his chest and sleep. His parents could not separate him from his deity. One night, Krishna and Balaram appeared in his dream. They looked like Cupid and enchanted the universe with their beautiful postures. Suddenly they transformed into Gornitai and the universe was perfumed by the scent of their bodies. In his dream, Jiva wept and fell at the feet of his two lords. Gornichinanda, the two oceans of mercy, put their feet on his head and then embraced him affectionately. Whatever they spoke fell like nectar on the ears of Jiva. In ecstatic love, Sri Gaurasunda offered Jiva to the gracious feet of Sri Nityananda. But Nityananda repeatedly instructed Jiva, let my Gora Prabhu be your life and soul. 
When Jiva bowed against their feet, they disappeared. And the next day he left for Vrindavan. Now a very interesting and important thing happened on the way to Vrindavan. He's going from Ramakele. Went down to, to Mayapur. There he met Lord Nityananda. Lord Nityananda introduced him to all the devotees. Then Lord Nityananda took Jiva Goswami on a great Navadweep Dam Parikrama. Yeah, they started from the house of Lord Chaitanya. Where where Mother Sachi and Vishnu Priya were living. You know, you probably read or heard Sachi Devi um, would chant, just chant all day. Every round she put aside one grain of rice. However many grains of rice were there at the end of the day, she cooked and ate. And that was all. So they started from there and then went up through Antadweep into Simantadweep. And then crossed into Godrum Dweep. Now you may not be familiar with the layout there of the, the island. <laughs> but Lord Nityananda took him over a period of at least a, a week to nine days through all the islands of Navadweep. And told him the glories of all the different sacred places. And when we go on Navadvi Parikrama, we follow exactly the same route and visit exactly the same places. We're going in a few weeks. Are you coming? Yes. Tape? Tape. Da ili da. Tape or tape. No, you must come with us. Yes. Uh, it is just an amazing and wonderful experience. Yes, so like this. Um, and Bhaktivinoda Thakur has made a record of all of this. So we can go on the Parikrama following in the footsteps of Jiva Goswami and Lord Nityananda. Then, so after they finished the Parikrama, Lord Nityananda told him, now you, you go to, uh, to Vrindavan. So, he went to Vrindavan and when he arrived, the other Goswamis welcomed him. And he lived under the care of Rupa Goswami. Yeah, in fact, he is basically like a disciple of Rupa Goswami. So, by this time, Jiva was just a, an incredible Sanskrit scholar. Yeah, and an, yeah, and very expert in the philosophy. But Rupa Goswami wanted to train him to be a proper disciple. 
just like one devotee, I won't mention his name, but he was very close to Prabhupada. He told me he was serving Prabhupada personally for some time. Every day Prabhupada would chastise him for something. But sometimes Prabhupada would chastise him for doing something he did not do. Someone else did that. But he got chastised. So this went on for some time. And he was feeling, you know, he wasn't so happy about it. No, I'm getting... I, it's okay when I do something wrong. But, you know, it's not right to chastise me for something I didn't do. So next time I will tell Prabhupada. Yes. So next time happened. <laughs> he got chastised. <laughs> No, strongly for doing something he did not do. And he said, ah, actually, you know, Srila Prabhupada, you know, it, 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 it wasn't me. It was Shamananda. <laughs> <laughs> and Prabhupada replied, I know. Prabhupada said, I know. I'm just trying to break your false ego. <laughs> uh, 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 yes. So, uh, 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 so you got to be careful in such dealings. So then that devotee took up the practice. Well, you know, there is an etiquette. The first time, well, the first time you see a sannyasi in, in the day, just first time you meant to offer obeisances. But the spiritual master you meant to offer obeisances every time you see him. So he developed the uh, practice. He didn't just bow down. He did full dandavats whenever he saw Prabhupada. Not, not long after Prabhupada was commenting to him about another devotee. He offers obeisances to me whenever he sees me. He is first class. But you offer dandavats. You are dandavat class. <laughs> okay, yeah, so Rupa Goswami he trained Jiva. So what did he do? He had him every day prepare the deity paraphernalia for Radha Govinda. He would make, have him make the garland. He would have him do all the cleaning. He had, he had uh, Jiva Goswami prepare the pencils for his writing. Believe it or not, um, Rupa Goswami did not have a laptop. Even an iPad. <laughs> there was life before laptops. Or, or telephones even. They would write on palm leaves. And the leaves had to be prepared so they would not just sort of you know, fall to pieces. So, 
so Rupa had Jiva prepare the palm leaves, like treat the palm leaves with certain liquids. Taigi, ir Rupa visam liepdavo Jyvai paruošti tuos lapus. Tuos lapus reikėdavo apdoroti skyščiais. So they'd be per permanent. Kad jie būtų tokie ilgalaikiai. And prepare the pencils. Ir taip pat paruošti rašiklius. He would have Jiva Goswami massage him. Ir Jiva Goswami taip pat turėdavo masažuoti Rupą. So after some time, Rupa became very pleased with Jiva. Po kurio laiko Rupa buvo labai patenkintas Jiva. And he initiated it. Ir jam iniciacija. Yes. Okay, let, let's just have what now? What should we have? What should we have? I'll just uh, conclude. Well, I'll tell you one I'll tell you some of the books he wrote. He's the one who wrote the most books. 400,000 verses. Bhagavad Gita is 700. Srimad Bhagavatam is only huh, just 15,000. Ha! <laughs> Malankaya Kaniga. Labai nedidelė knygutė. Čia. 400,000 verses. Čia 400 tūkstančių posmų. And some of them are a full page. O kai kurie iš tų posmų visą puslapę dydžio. Yes, serious writing. Labai labai rimtas rašytojas. So he wrote the six sandarbas. Jisai parašė šešias sandarbas. Means the elaborations of the Krishna conscious philosophy. He wrote a commentary on the whole Bhagavatam. Uh, it's sort of like it's not in depth. Quite a few verses he doesn't say anything about. He wrote a detailed commentary on the 10th canto. And he wrote Gopal Champu. After you've read uh, what was it? Brihad Bhagavatam. After you've read Prabhupada's books three or four times. And read Brihad Bhagavatam. Really? A couple of times. And Lalita Madhava. Ir Lalita Madhava taip pat. Then you must read Gopal Champa. Tada jūs turite paskaityti Gopal Champa. It's amazing. Labai nuostabi knyga. It's, it's like in-depth descriptions of all the pastimes in the 10th canto. Tai yra labai labai gilus visų temo aprašyta Šrimad Bhagavatam 10 gesmėje aprašymas. And we should finish, but I just want to read you something. Mes jau turim baigti, bet aš noriu jums dar truputį paskaityti. It's really nice. It is, let's see here, where are we? Um, what now? Okay, whoops. It is a part of Jiva Goswami's description of the Dhammada Lila. Čia bus pateikiamas Jiva Goswami pateiktas Dhammadara Lila saprašymas. So, um, Mother Yashoda has just untied Krishna at the end of the pastime. And so different people have gathered. Yeah, and Nanda Maharaj has come also. And so Nan Krishna just goes as soon as he's untied, Krishna just goes to Nanda Maharaj. And Nanda Maharaj embraces him. Expresses affection. And now Nanda Maharaj has to go. And smiling, Nanda Maharaj asked, Will you go to your mother? Krishna replied. Krishna sako. No. Ne. No. Ne. I will stay with you. Aš būsiu su tavim. And Nanda Maharaj asked, 
Well, why will you not go to your mother? Fernanda Mukharaja Klaus, why did you not go to your mother? She tied me up. She made me pretty rich. Oh, oh! You must have been naughty. To be a shdikas? No. No. I I never naughty. I should never have been a shdikas. Oh, oh! Well, why did she tie you up? Why did you tie me up? Ask her. But Klaus Kios. She's nasty. You know, beauty. So Nanda Maharaj says, but I have to go and herd the cows. Nanda Maharaj says, but Batman Rikai, Batman Rikai, go need to carry them. Krishna, Krishna says. Krishna says, I will go with you. I shall sit with you. But but whose milk will you drink? I can not pee on the grass. I will drink the milk of the cows. I shall sit carry the pee on. Who will you play with? I shall go to Jaisa. I will. Play, I will play with you. And I'll bring my brother too. And Nanda Maharaj says, Well, why don't you go to your brother's mother? Means Mother Rohini. No. No. She left me and went away. And then Nanda Maharaj thought of a strategy. Nanda Maharaj has thought of a strategy. It's just a strategy. It's a strategy. He says, "Listen, son." He says, "Sago, paklosik, sonu." If you agree, he will do something. I will beat your mother. I shall break your mother's arm. And he lifted his hand. He lifted his arm. And Krishna said, "No, no, no, no." Krishna said, "No, no, no, no." And like this, his love for his mother started coming out. Yes. And Krishna said, "Where's mother? Where's 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 mother? With a melted heart, she sobbed. So, if she needs to see, she turns her head down. She pretty has to work it. Making everyone else there cry. And we see playing with the part pretty work it. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Shila Jiva Goswami ke. Jai. Shila Ruta Goswami ke. Jai. Shila Prabhupad ke. Jai. Go Premanande. There's a little more about Jiva Goswami, and then we'll go on to the others. Dar le kot kashkete pe Jiva Goswami, er to da nesu desem pre kete tuga svama. Tomorrow. Ritoi. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Jai.